Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, I want to share with you a basic setup to use a free lower thirds plugin for OBS. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on the channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So I've had a lot of people ask me about doing lower thirds and I've done a bunch of those with how you can use Canva, use Photoshop, make them yourself. Um, upload them through OBS, vMix, use your presentation software to do all that other stuff. And even then, some people are still saying that they're having some issues with that. Hey, no problem. There's a tool for everybody, no matter what your skill set is. And that just happens to be another great plugin that goes into OBS. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer real quick. Now, this plugin is by, and I'm sorry if I pronounce his name wrong, um, Noel. Um, great plugin here um, for animated lower thirds, not just the static ones that we can make with Canva, um, but I wanna walk you through everything that you need to do this. Now, I'm gonna link to another guy's video that goes in super, super, super detail about this. Um, I just wanna do my take on this because there were a couple of things when I followed his guide that I had some issues with, so I'm doing some tweaks to that for y'all, and I'm coming from ideas of what you can use this for your media ministry or for your church. So let's go over here. I will have a link in the description. Um, also, there are chapters and timestamps in my videos that you can click down below. Or if you go to the timeline and move your mouse over it and click, it'll actually say show chapters and you'll get a pop up that shows up over here um, at the top that you can click through and see the chapters there. So anyway, we're going to go here to the link, like I said, down below, and we're going to go ahead and download this. All right, and let's go ahead and open this. All right, so this is what we have. Now for me, I um, had some issues with this. It all depends on the security that you have for Windows. Oh, before I even go any further, this is for Windows only. This does not work for Mac yet, okay? So if you're a Mac person, sorry, this does not work for you yet. Um, when I get some more memory, <laughs> I'm gonna try and tweak some stuff in my Ryzen Tosh, because. She is dead right now with um, some parts missing, but um, we'll be trying this later once I hear some updates. But currently, this is for Windows only. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract this. You can put it in your downloads folder, but it depends if you're somebody like me who deletes their downloads over time, you might not want to do it this way. Um, and you might wanna put it in a different location. Now, some of y'all, if y'all have got the OBS Complete Bundle, I actually just extract this into that folder, which makes it easier. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the compressed folders tools right here. Click extract all. So for me, the first thing is I'm going to put it in a completely different path. I'm going to put mine for those who use it. I put mine in the OBS complete bundle, or you can put it anywhere. If You can keep it in your downloads if you want to, um, but if you're as long as you're not somebody like me who deletes the contents of their downloads folder over time, you want to put it somewhere to where you won't lose it or accidentally delete it because if you delete it, you're going to lose everything. So you can put this in your documents, um, your videos folder, your pictures folder, somewhere like that. Me, I put mine on the C drive under um, the OBS complete bundle because it was easy. So I'm going to select that folder there and I'm going to leave it here because it's going to make another folder. So let's check off show extracted files when complete extract. All right. So here is our folder. It made an animated lower thirds folder. And here's the contents of here. Now, this is one thing I want you to check just in case right click on this folder and go to properties. And sometimes you may have a box down here saying this it's blocked. You might want to um, check that and unblock it. It's kind of a, a security feature so that people won't install something on your computer without you knowing and trying to access your computer um, and make changes to your computer. 
I don't believe I have that issue right now. So I'm just going to go look at. All right. So like here, see, this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect your computer. You want to unblock that because you're going to have some issues if you don't. Go to this one too. And this third one. And you might need to come into the common folder, the JS folder, and do the same thing. See, so you can't select them all and unblock, unfortunately. You have to go to each one individually and check the unblock. This gave me numerous issues when I was trying to do this the first time. So hopefully this will save you from here. These files are fine. Don't need to change those. And that's it. All right. So now let's go ahead and open up OBS. All right. So with our folders open now, what we're going to do, don't close this path that we got because we're going to be using this multiple times. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is going to go over here to tools. Going to go to scripts. And in here, we're going to click the plus at the bottom here. And then what we're going to do is navigate out to our path here. You can click there or what I like to do is hold down the shift key. And we're looking for this file right here, the lower thirds hotkeys. Right with the shift key held down, go ahead and right click on lower thirds um, hotkeys. And then you should see a new option that says copy as path. Go ahead and click that. All right. Let's go back to our folder here and let's just paste that. Control V. Paste that in the path. Get rid of the double quotes at the beginning and at the end. Then click open. Boom. That's it. If you see another box pop up like this and it's like a log. So if you see something like this open and it has some text in it, it's probably saying an error couldn't open or act extract something. That's the unblock that we just did. If you're still getting that, make sure that you did not um, miss one of those files that you unblocked. It'll tell you what file it can't access. So you want to make sure that file is unblocked. But as you can see, mine comes up clear, so we're good. All right, so let's close that. Now, number two, let's go here to our view, go to docs. We're gonna go to custom browser docs. Let's give our doc a name. I'm gonna call it, call it lower thirds. Let's go back to our folder where we extracted everything. And we have another file here called control panel. Hold down the shift key. Right click on control panel, copy as path. Let's go back to OBS and now in the URL, just paste this, getting rid of the double quotes at the end and the ones at the beginning. Click apply. Boom. There is our control panel. Let's close this. And as you can see, you can dock this anywhere in OBS. All right. So let's put it over here. Well, actually, let's move it over to the other side here. All right. Almost there. One more step. Let's go down to whatever scene that you want, because you can always copy this to another scene. We just need to do it on one. Let's go to actually before we do that, let's go to our settings. We're going to go to video. And I need you to notice the numbers in here. I'm streaming my canvas and my output is exactly the same, but I'm at 1920 by 1080. Notice that number. If they're both the same, you only got to worry about one number. If they're different, you got to be mindful of that. Go with the base one either way. Um, so mine is 1920 by 1080. All right, 1920. The first number is your width. The second one is your height. So I'm 1920 across the screen and then 1080 down. That's important. All right, just cancel out of this. Now back to our sources, we're going to hit plus. We're going to do browser and call this lower thirds. Okay. Now we're going to check off local file. 
we're going to come back to our folder, our last file here, browser source, hold down shift, right click on browser source, copy as path. Let's come back over here. Let's go to browse. And I mean, you could pick the file or paste it, whichever one. Let's click it this time. Browser source. There we go. Now, here's our numbers for our width. We're going to do our 1920. For our height, let's do 1080. These two check boxes use custom frame rate, not important. Control audio, not important. The custom CSS, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Everything that's in there. Then you have two check boxes shut down when source is not visible, check. Refresh browser when scene becomes active, check. All right, and now let's OK. Boom, there we go. We're all set up and prepped. All right, so now let's go over here. And we have some hotkeys that we need to do so you can set this up. Now, if you're using the Stream Deck, you can map this, this key command to your Stream Deck if you're using that. We've talked about that before. But let's go over here to our, um, actually not there, it's under Settings. We're going to go to hotkeys and if our file was installed right, if we scroll down or you could just do type here lower and it filters and now we have our stuff here. All right. So what we want to do is we have four lower thirds that you can configure. So what I like to do is click on this first one here. We're going to hold down the shift button and the number one at the same time. So that's going to be the command to bring this up. Shift two. Shift three, shift four, Oop. three, shift four. All right. Now let's go ahead and apply that. Now, if you're using the stream deck, what you would do is go into and actually let me bring it up just to see so y'all can see what's going on with it. Here's my stream deck mini and I'm just going to use uh, I use OBS right now. I'll get rid of one of these. All right. So if we were trying to use something like this, see, there's no command that you can use for the stream deck. But what you want to do is do system and then do a hotkey. So we would carry that over and then you would assign the same command shift plus one and that would be lower third one. Be mindful if you're doing this and want to use the stream deck with this, these key commands are only going to be passed if OBS is the program in focus. All right. There's no direct command to go to um, hit and shift one that is going to trigger our lower third. So be mindful of that. All right. Now that we got that done, let's go through our settings here. We have our main settings here. Let's hit this little switch here which needs to be on for this to work in any way, shape or form. Let's hit the plus to expand. And we have three numbers here. We have our global in and out, which by default is four seconds. So I'm going to set mine at two. That just how long it takes to go in and go out. All right. Active means that it's going to keep up the graphic by default. If you don't put anything in for 25 seconds, after 25 seconds, it goes away. You can put whatever time you want. Um, and then inactive, how long is the lower third is inactive, meaning that it's going to stay off. And as long as it's flipped on after a certain period of time, it'll come back up. I mean, this can be really beneficial if you want to say all of a sudden, um, you know what? I just want to pass this preaching, whoever, and I just want to have this go in rotation and loop over and over again. Um, you can set a certain time in that. So 420 seconds seven minutes. Um, so every seven minutes it would kick off again by default unless you put some other time in there. So just letting you know. All right. So all these other ones, I'm fine. Uh, I don't need anything else. Let's see what show more. Now we have appearance here. This is how it looks. So I have mine as dark because it matches OBS. Um, you can change the location, hide the numbers of memory slides. Enable preview window, um, show tool tips with the stored content. That's up to you. Customs. This is where you can change your font and you can add um, custom fonts 
through Google. I will reference back the video at the timestamp where the guy goes way more in detail talking about this. I'm not going to use this right now, um, but you can add a custom font if you really wanted to. And then we have our logos here. Now, this is something really important because this messed me up here. Um, if we go back here, it's like it says here, if you click on it, choose your image and you can pick whatever and say I come over here and I pick my logo and I do OK. Nothing shows up because all of your logos actually need to exist inside of the logos folder under our animated lower thirds that we extracted. That messed me up for a minute. Let's open up another browser and I'm going to grab some of my images. So my circle image live YouTube and I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do my AJ Holmes look. Nah, I'll do podcast, something like that. So let's copy those and paste. All right, so when it comes to your logos, you got to make sure that you deposit them and we'll copy them and place them inside this logos folder. All right. Now, in another video, they were talking about renaming these. You really don't need to do that. These are for the placeholders in the application. You can put your files in here and it can be whatever you want. All right. So like if we come over here and we go ahead and choose our file again, there's our logo. See, that's the default. So it knows to switch to that. So our podcast one, and this will be our email. All right. So now if we turn hit shift one to turn this on, boom, there we go. And I had an exclamation mark in here, which I didn't know about. <laughs> All right. So cool. And as you see, that will stay up. But let's play around with the colors a little bit. If we hit this plus, you can change the color here. The image is that. I mean, you could turn that off by clicking there and then the image is gone. I want to keep it there. You have different styles here as well, too. So if you did two, let's bring it up again. See, two does it in the bars, but there is no image for option number two. Number three does this little animated one, which will allow you to put your picture, which is cool. And that's it. Now you can change the overall size of your lower third. You know, you can change where it aligns to. You can change the font size, the spacing between the both lines, the font. You could add your own font. Like I said before, if you were adding custom fonts, I'm not using that. Um, um, you can turn on shadows. Let me bring that back up again. You can have shadows turned on. You can change the color of each one. So I'm going to go back to number one and I want to change the color of that bar. So let's click on that. I use a pure solid red. So that's FF0000. So now there's my color bar. And then you could change your um, the transparency, I mean, the, the background color, sorry, is this next one right here, color number two. So you can always adjust that. Change the transparency here if you wanted to, to see more of a see-through, something like that. So that's cool. All right. And let's minimize that. Now you can play around with a bunch of these. Like you can say, uh, you know, do subscribe, not subscriber, subscribe right here. We can make that bold. Um, you know, you can do a link, um, like, or don't actually let's do this backwards. So let's say, don't forget to, and then do subscribe right there. We'll make that bold. Turn that on. Let's see what that looks like. Shift two. All right. So we have this, but we want to change how this looks. So let's change our style here. 
and that's our spacing that's our size we can change which one is bigger here I want to do it like that and let's go with number two on that one all right so I'm gonna change this color as well to match what I use which is red and you can always change to um, yeah I said the font you can change the font color as well too all right so we got that one and then I would say like because I know what I'm using um, submit your questions and then I'll say my email questions at ajhomes.com and see now that's why that's looping here so we're going to do shift 4 boom now I might want to switch uh, switch this just so the email is bigger let just say send me your questions boom so you got that shift 4 turns it off then we can do shift 1 now you could run all these at the same time but as you can see they overlap so you would obviously want to change where they're going but hey that makes it work so now if you had different scenes you can actually just copy this layer somewhere else and then it will work no matter which way you go so let me know down below if you have any questions about that um really cool that you can just set this up once and it'll give you the basics so you could put your church website you can do put a dollar sign a cash app sign or whatever type of thing for online giving and flash that down at the bottom up and out of the way so it's a lot of cool things that you can do and it's native right there in obs and once it's set up you just have to hit shift one two three four or whatever hot key that you decide to use or you can map it over to a stream deck so let me know if you have any other questions or ways that you would like me to do that i'm actually going to install this at my church um, and just see um, I'm playing this Sunday so we're not going to be using it but it will be cool to have that because that's small up and out of the way very distraction um, doesn't cause that much distraction that is but anyway let me know if you like this type of content I appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible the name is on the screen right now and you too can become a patron for as little as one dollar a month or you can become a youtube member by clicking that join button below no matter which way you pick folks you are helping us train media ministries all over the world thanks for watching folks this is aj and we will see you on the next video later